Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle, my channel name is Miss Glam Bam, and today I'm doing something a little different. I am going to be swatching the lip colors that are in the new ColourPop lip kit. This is the Out and About kit that they just came out recently around the holidays, and they came out with so many lip kits. I'm in heaven, they're ultra matte lips. One of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time. They are transfer proof, my boyfriend likes them. He gave them a thumbs up the other day. He was like, you're wearing purple lipstick and it didn't come off on me when I gave you a kiss. So A plus to that. But I've been seeing a lot of these swatch videos around and they are so helpful. I haven't really seen many for this kit. There are just so many out and ColourPop didn't put swatches on their website. A lot of bloggers don't seem to have swatches out. There aren't many videos out about some of these. So hopefully this can be helpful for you guys. I'm also just really obsessed with ColourPop and I want to try these out. And look at the packaging is so pretty. They come in this sleeve and then within that they come in their usual boxes. So yeah, I hope this video is helpful. If you are looking for what the heck these shades look like, I'm cool undertoned, very pinky skin just for reference, and obviously very fair. So if you are similar, they will probably look similar on you. Although I found with a lot of these ColourPop liquid lipsticks, they look different on everyone. It's a little insane, but at least you'll have somewhat of a clue. So this kit I really liked. It came with Times Square, which is an ultra matte lip, and I'm actually giving this one to a friend of mine because I already have it. So I'll just be swatching my mini version of it. I love that color. It looked great on her and she's been dying to get it. So that is a gift for someone else. And then it comes with the ultra matte lip in Viper and then an ultra satin lip in Barracuda. I did a whole first impressions on this formula when it first came out and they're not really my favorite, but the color was so pretty. I had to. I'm gonna swatch that one first though because the ultra satins come off a little easier than the ultra mattes. So this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Barracuda. Really pretty mauvey color. Do a hand swatch, I suppose. Some swatches underneath I tried to wipe off, so ignore that. So it's really pretty. So this is kind of a brownie mauve color. Um, if you want to say that, they have a bit of a gloss to them, but they are kind of matte looking. So this is really pretty. And my swatches are going to be super messy because I'm kind of bad at drawing on my lip shape because I have tiny lips. But just for reference, here's what it looks like. So that was rather staining. Next, I'm going to swatch the ultra matte lip in Times Square. This is a gorgeous nude color for people who are afraid of nudes, like myself. It's just so pretty. It kind of looks different on everyone. It's kind of like a brownie, medium toned pink. Really pretty, I wear this all the time. <laughs> it looks insane with the stain of the other one around my lips. Oh my God. This one you would probably want a lip liner for. This look, it, it, it looks insane, sorry about that, but <laughs> oh my god. Again, messy swatch, forgive the stain, it makes me look like I have bee stings on my lips, but this is Times Square, super pretty. It usually dries down a little darker, so it's still kind of wet now, but it will get a little darker. And this came in a mini kit and they don't have the names on the bottom. And we all know the ColourPop writing comes off the side, which is where the name was. So I put washi tape with Sharpie around it with the names so I would know what they were. My makeup geek or what? This is a bad representation of this color. It's so pretty though, but like I should use a lip liner with this probably. So again, sorry about the staining, but here is the last color, the Ultra Matte in Viper. I'm so excited for this. It looks like such a gorgeous, pretty, unique color. Um, kind of a berry pink, if you will. <sighs> it's just so pretty. Which one was <laughs> this one on top right here? Oh, I'm so excited. This is the kind of color that looks so pretty in a matte finish. I'm obsessed with this. I love this. Um, I'm gonna have to like go put concealer around my mouth to actually wear this out, but oh, 
this color looks so pretty the shape is kind of gross that i did but i love this oh my gosh i feel like i don't have anything like this it's very unique but it's very wearable and something everyone should have so i hope this video was helpful to you guys if you were like me looking through all their gift sets and knew their new lip kits that came out and wanting some swatches already this is the set that came in this packaging which i think is the prettiest by the way i love this color scheme I love this one I'm wearing, I love Times Square, it's really good, and Barracuda was really pretty as well. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, leave me comments down below letting me know what your favorites are or what you think of this set, if you bought any of the other ones. I hope this was helpful, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible so if people are looking for it, it will be there. If you are new to my channel, please hit subscribe, join our Glam Bam fam to see more videos like this, it means so much to me, I put a lot of work and thought and heart into my videos so it means a lot to see my channel growing here are all the swatches kind of dried down they're a similar color family but they're so gorgeous they're pretty much mostly cool toned very perfect for fall and winter so i hope you guys had fun watching this video and swatching with me and i'll see you in my next one three two one bam